Guidance on taking leg measurements. Please heed the general advice on taking measurements before starting the program. The latter is based on the standards laid down by the Federal College for Orthopedic Technology. Each manufacturer, however, uses material of different quality with a corresponding effect on the leg. The film will draw your attention to the specific quality features of flat knitted compression stockings from Ofa Bamberg. Every time you see this Ofa tip, we make recommendations on how to obtain the best fit and the highest wearing comfort of an Ofa stocking. Explain to your patient right from the beginning the individual steps and the approximate time involved in the measuring process. The patient will then not become impatient about the time required. First, feel the leg carefully to check if it is totally decongested. The firmness of the tissue thus determined also decides how much stretching of the tape is required when measuring. In the case of soft tissue, you must tighten the measuring tape, whereas in the case of firm tissue, it should be somewhat looser. Also, pull more firmly on the measuring tape should the edema be pronounced and less firmly if the edema is less pronounced. To measure points A to F, the patient should be in a lying position. Enter all the length measurements in column L and the circumferential measurements in column C of the order pad. Start by measuring the foot length. To obtain the best results with a measuring tape, always mark the length measuring points with a coal pencil. Please do not use a slack tape if it is to be firmly stretched while measuring. For a stocking with a traversal foot and open toe, mark on the inside of the foot the point at the metatarsophalangeal joint of the big toe. This describes length AI. Ofa tip. In order not to shift the edema into the toe area, we recommend an oblique toe stocking design. If the edema is not severe in the foot area, you can continue to order the straight toe design. On the outside of the foot, Make the coal marking at the metatarsophalangeal joint of the small toe. This measures length A. Then measure with the measuring tape the length of the outside of the foot, starting at the heel to the coal point already marked. Please make sure that the tip of the foot points upwards. Then measure the inside of the foot in the same way. For a closed toe, also mark the traversal foot and tick off both on the order pad. Measure for the closed toe from heel to the tip of the longest toe. Over tip, so that the toes have enough room when walking, 0.5 cm should be added to the measurement taken. Now proceed to measure the circumference of the foot. Start with measuring point A. Place the measuring tape around the metatarsophalangeal joint of the toes. In the case of an open toe, measure without stretching the tape to avoid constriction. Enter the measurement in column CA on the ordering pad. Over tip, to prevent the open toe from being too wide and therefore causing the stocking to slip back towards the heel, the measuring tape should be tightened a little. Moreover, this measurement for the open or closed toe stocking should not be taken with the foot bearing the patient's full body weight. Thereafter, proceed to measure the circumference of point Y. Place the measuring tape with the tip of the foot pointing upwards across the heel and instep. Measure without stretching the tape. This is followed by measuring the circumference at point B. Stretch the tape while measuring above the ankle. To be able to measure the length later, mark all measuring points with a coal pencil. The next measuring point B1 is located at the lowest end of the calf, about 10 cm higher than point B. Also in this case, stretch the tape while measuring. Some 10 cm above is measuring point C, exactly at the point where the calf circumference is at its widest. This measuring point is also measured while stretching the tape. Point D is located at two fingers widths below the kneecap at the head of the fibula. If it is to be an AD knee-high stocking, measure without stretching the tape.
OFA tip. However, to prevent the OFA AD knee-high stocking from slipping, stretch the tape slightly while measuring. With the leg slightly bent, measure the circumference of measuring point E about two finger widths above the kneecap and one finger width above the hollow of the knee without stretching the tape. Please make sure not to place the measuring tape in the hollow of the knee. OFA tip. So that the OFA stocking sits perfectly at the knee, stretch the tape while measuring. In the middle of the upper thigh is point F. If the stocking finishes here, only stretch the tape slightly while measuring, and if it does not, tighten the measuring tape firmly. After all circumferential measurements have been entered into the order pad, you can start measuring the length of the leg. Measure the length on the inside of the leg to obtain an optimal fit. The first length measurement is taken from the heel to measuring point B. This length should not be smaller than 10 cm. Proceed along your markings to measuring point F. Do not measure the distances between the individual points, but always the total length starting from the heel. If the other leg requires a stocking, begin measuring that leg. To measure points G to T, the patient should preferably be standing on a slightly raised level. Point G is located at the widest part of the upper thigh below the gluteal fold. If it is an AG stocking with grip top, you should, when measuring the circumference, check the exact height of the measuring tape so that the grip top cannot fold over later. You can, for this purpose, place a full body mirror behind the patient or simply turn him round. For an AG stocking, you should indeed stretch the tape while measuring, but avoid constrictions. Otherwise, stretch the tape more firmly while measuring. Now measure from this point to the floor the length of point G. At the widest pelvic area, measure the circumference of point H and tighten the measuring tape firmly. Point T is located at the waist. Only stretch the tape slightly when measuring the circumference. To measure the length of the inseam, the patient should stand with his legs slightly apart. The patient holds the beginning of the measuring tape at crotch level. The length is measured straight down to the ground. OFA tip. In the case of very highly pronounced lymphedema, the length of the inseam should additionally be measured directly on the leg. If the deviation between the first measurement taken and the measurement taken close to the body is very big, the final length should be averaged. For the panty section, measure at the front of the length of the waist to the crotch and at the back from the waist to the lower gluteal fold on the left or right side of the pelvis so that the panty section is not too short. So that you can stretch the tape correctly at the right measuring point, please pay special attention to the following points. For flat-knitted treatment, you should generally stretch the tape while measuring. At all the finishing borders of the stocking, whether knee highs or thigh highs or tights, stretch the tape slightly while measuring. Please pay particular attention to measuring point Y. As you are measuring on a joint, do not stretch the tape. This could lead to constriction which could shift the edema into the back of the foot. For information on the different designs and additional features, please refer to the module ordering. Please do not hesitate to contact customer service at any time should you have any further questions.